All right, so I'm here at a trade show and took uh, took a part of GE5, just getting set up for the show. Um, I want to show how to replace the carbon brushes on the GE5. If you look, um, you do have to take apart the handle, so there's multiple screws that you do have to take apart, and it's just a clamshell that comes apart. Uh, and then right in here is the carbon brush. There's one here, and there's one right here on the other side. And if you look close, there's a little spring. And to get that carbon brush out, all you do is move this spring. And that spring comes off, and then the carbon brush comes right out. Slides out of that little holder that it's in. See it sliding back and forth. Take it out of that holder and take the electrical component off down there with the the needle nose pliers. And then to put you put the new ones in, and then you take this spring and put it right back on the carbon brush. And I think I lifted that up too, to be honest with you. You have to be careful when you're doing this not to take that spring off of that area there but you basically put that spring right back on that carbon brush and it will advance it and then you attach down in here you reattach that to the to the motor and then you repeat the same step on the other side um, the other side's a little bit more challenging to get to and it's dark down there so you can't see it but same process and then you you can see the carbon brush here which is conducting the electric that comes off uh, very easily and if you do have any problems with the unit you know 90 percent of the time it is a carbon brush maybe the spring comes off uh, or maybe this little copper wire breaks or comes apart um, if any of those are, are wrong when you take it apart, that, that's going to be your main problem. The other thing which, while we have it apart, we can quickly look at your, your cord. A lot of times there are problems right in here. People drag it or pull the cord, causing problems. You also have your speed control. And literally it's just a matter of unplugging those components and plugging the new ones back in and then putting them into the slots. Now when you do take it apart and you put it back together, there are these little rubber seating pieces that go on these little tabs which help with vibration in the handle um, so when you put it back together you do want to make sure that uh, you get those seated properly and uh, and put them back together while we have it apart you can also see the gear reduction system here which is going to allow the motor to turn faster and turn the shaft uh, which you can see the shaft inside here that's going to turn that slower that's what the gear reduction does allows that fan to turn helping to cool the motor but overall, that's how you change the carbon brushes on the Flex GE5.